So a lot of you may have went and seen the movie 21 this weekend. You may have seen the part about variable change and said, huh, that doesn't make sense, that should be 50-50. Well, it's not, and I'm going to show you why. The best way to explain this is to use empirical evidence. Now instead of using doors, goats, and cars, I'm going to use cards because it makes the most sense. Even if you were to run up to your statistics professor or your probability professor, chances are they're going to go get three cards. Um, I think the best way for me to explain this, and even if you wanted like this explanation from uh, a professor, it might be difficult for them to explain it, even if they know exactly how it works. Uh, empirical evidence really is the best way for someone to, to get the full understanding of this. So, um, I'll start this off. So I've got the Ace of Spades. This is going to be the car. This is what you want. Okay? And I have the Seven of Spades, which is considered a goat. And I have the Six of Spades, also considered a goat. So I have these three cards. Notice six and seven that's two out of three that are goats okay I'm just gonna shuffle them up you don't know where they're at and let's just say you're gonna always pick door number one because it's not like I can actually interact with you the audience so we're always gonna say this is door number one for argument's sake and for ignorance sake let's say you believe it's 50 50 no matter what okay so we're always going to go with door number one, okay? And since you don't get an option to where the, uh, the Monty Hall problem, to where he says, okay, I'm going to pick door number one, and then I'm going to be so nice to show you door number three, it's a goat, and I'm going to ask you, would you like to change? And you're going to say, well, I don't need to change because it's a 50-50 chance now. I don't need to switch from here to here because it's 50-50. Well, let's see how that works out. Okay, so this was door number two, this was door number three. You picked door number one. There was no switching, so I might as well not even show you that. Okay, you were wrong. Let's do it again. I'm not even looking at the cards, I'm not trying to fool anybody here. Door number one, wrong again. Okay, I don't need to keep doing this. You can understand that two out of three times you're gonna be wrong you're not gonna get that car what happens when you get a chance to switch afterwards okay not looking at the cards trying to shuffle here door number one right here and he's gonna say okay well I'm gonna show you door number three and that's a goat should you change now it might seem weird it might not make sense but when you switch from here to here Yes, you should always switch. That's variable change. Always make room for variable change. I'm not sure if that's exactly how they said it in 21, but it's true. You should always switch. I mean, sometimes you will lose, but there it is. That's the car. And you need a tally sheet. I'll tally this up for the video. Okay, I shuffle, 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 shuffle. I choose again. This time I'll choose this one. Okay, I'll look down at the cards, okay? I'll show you that one. Now, do you want to change from here to here? Yeah, I'll change. I'm always going to change. Okay, you were right. You can shuffle just like this. And just keep doing over and over and over on paper. Okay? Every time, you can do it this way, every time you flip over your card that you want, with including the change, you lose. That means every time that you get this, you win. That means you have a two-thirds chance. That means that when Monty, or the professor in the movie 21, or whoever says, okay, I'm going to show you that goat, 
do you want to change, you always want to change because it's giving you that extra 33%. It's not 50%, it's 67%. And the best way to do this is to take three cards at home and just try it. Just do it. Just do it 20 times, and I guarantee you that it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out more than 50%. I did it 10 times today, and 10 times in a row I got the card. And since you're including change every time, if you pick a goat, you win. I hope this makes sense to everyone. If anybody's got any questions, let me know.